Oh, she's peeing. Great. Way to pee in our clean water, Lindsay. Alright, so this is oxygen not included. So this is made by the same developer that makes uh, Don't Starve or made Don't Starve and as well as Don't Starve Together. Uh, the developer is Clay. They, uh, they're kind of like my new favorite developer, like, because they've made some pretty cool games in the past, and chiefly Don't Starve, and I've seen brief, uh, playthroughs of this. I'm not really familiar with it, though, so I decided to try it out. So let's go ahead and jump in. Because I have no idea what I'm doing, we're going to start with the no sweat game mode because that sounds like it would be easier. So we're just doing the default settings for the no sweat, which is pretty easy. And the reason for that is I don't really know what I'm doing. So we're going to name our colony Serenity because it's going to be serene. I think this is good. I don't really know what we should have looked for in a person, because again, this is my first time. So I've awoken with a starting crew of three duplicates, but the situation here is not as we expected. Resources are scarce and our pod is embedded miles beneath the planet's surface. I must help my duplicates survive before I investigate what went wrong. Okay, so they all have new hope. Okay, so I'm gonna have these guys dig out some ants. So we have oxygen in here. I think I'm gonna have them dig into here because this won't be bad. I guess, you know what, I'm gonna build the outhouse a little bit over more, because I don't want it to be next to everything else. Let's... build an outhouse, since we don't have any of those. So this girl's building that. I just realized we chose all women to run the show, which is fine. Um. Uh, here we go. Sorry, I'm still figuring out everything just a bit. Let's build one of these microbe mushers. This will give us food. And we're going to need some power. So they're sleeping. We got this little critter in here. They are up. So I'm going to have them dig into here. And then... They can expand out this way. Dang, we have more copper here. Although, this is all oxygen again, so... Potentially... Ooh. There's a little bit of carbon dioxide, but that's... Probably alright. Let's see... We will build... A ladder... We will fast forward through all this. Have these guys work through all of this. Let's do a generator over here. So now we once this is constructed, we will be able to have electricity. So we can now connect 
they've been sleeping on the, the floor for a couple days, so we'll get some furniture tomorrow. Oh gosh, are those guys trapped? Come on, mister. Can you work on this? Oh gosh. We will... Print you and that's it. Okay, they're no longer stuck, which is good. I suppose... We probably don't need this quite yet. Stick this next to... The toilet, I think? This might destroy a little bit of our water, but whatever. These guys can... I don't want them getting stuck here, so... Because that would suck. Ooh, we might have a flood with these things. Oh well. Uh... Okay, so we're gonna build some batteries. So all the power we generate isn't for nothing. We'll probably have to put this ladder here. And let's get some storage, because we have a lot of stuff just laying around. Okay, and then what the heck, let's just dig this out so this water can drain. So let's go ahead and make this all tile. Okay, we're gonna destruct these because I want this to just be a level uh, floor so we don't have oxygen and carbon dioxide pooling anywhere. Everybody's sleeping. Wait, we have a fourth colonist now, right? Where are they? Oh, they need to use the bathroom. Great. Harold, where are you? know where he is. Okay, whatever. We will add a, another cot anyways. Fast forward through the night. Okay. Oh, Harold's over here. Oh, she's peeing. Great. Way to pee in our clean water, Lindsay. C can you not, Lindsay? This, this was our clean water, and you just peed in it. Look at now we have polluted water. And it's got a bunch of germs. And food poisoning? Wait, oh, it can cause food poisoning. I'm assuming that's what that means. Okay, let's go ahead and build an oxygen diffuser. 
I guess we'll stick it over here because this is where we have the most issue right next to the bathroom okay so we're gonna hook this up and then we'll hook up the power in a minute oh Okay, so we're, we've got some food queued up. Let's hook up this. Oxygen diffuser converts large amounts of algae into oxygen. So, it's kind of a non-solution if you ask me because it does help with our air shortage. However, it's also going to use up our allergy which is a finite resource so it will help for now mm, it seems to be helping now at least a bit because this is really kind of getting yucky over here Ooh, research station let's let's build one of these I'm assuming this will let us get more equipment. Okay. Is he disinfecting things? Oh, he's using the bathroom. Select research. Ooh, okay. Basic farming, plumbing, ventilation. Okay, so what do we eventually want? Acoustic, precision plumbing. Well, let's start with ventilation because I'm assuming we're gonna have to figure out what to do because if you look at oxygen, it is cleaner now, but we're gonna disable that for now because, so we currently have, oh, okay, Lindsay's stuck, that's why. I was like, there's someone that's not sleeping in the beds. And it's because Lindsay's up here, <laughs> just chilling. Oh, Harold's all excited. Look at you, Harold. We kind of need food, so... And we also need Lindsay to not be dead, so if we could go ahead and help her out that'd be great okay I know Lindsay needs to get into the bathroom and the last thing I want is her peeing in the water again go to the bathroom Lindsay ooh what's it oh, oh there's polluted water over here where'd that come from what I think I'm gonna do is just create a pit to drain all the sewage <laughs> I don't know what to do with it.